Yeah, okay, since I have Destiny here, uh, so lovely, like, I just want to criticize you for saying a bunch of things that are false and dishonest. Um, one example is, I don't know if this is, like, you still haven't read this, even though you talked about it in two massive debates, but the idea that uh, the great the UN report and the Great March for Return didn't do an IHL analysis is totally bogus. They did both IHL and police. As Wait, why do you report, think that uh, IHL wouldn't apply to policing stuff? They analyze it both as an armed conflict dopey and as I, I can find you the direct quote if you want to like do your debate approach. But. Okay, um, I'll read the direct quote. So this is from the uh, advanced thing for the UN report that you were referencing earlier. F, legal assessment of the demonstrations. In the commission's view, the demonstrations were civilian in nature, had clearly stated political aims, and despite some acts of significant violence, did not constitute combat or a military campaign. Thus, the legal framework applicable to policing the protests was that of law enforcement based in international human rights law. This assessment did not change following the commission's investigation into the demonstrators' affiliation to or membership in organized armed groups do you admit that you were yeah, wrong analyze, no i don't because they analyzed both uh for comprehensiveness to say they, their view was it's just an ih it's a it's a, a police issue but they also analyze it in terms of ihl they analyzed they they talked about the law of distinction they analyzed it in terms of the law of armed conflict and found under the armed law of armed conflict only one of the people killed in the massacre was killed uh justified that's because so, yeah. when you analyze it as a policing event Destiny, stop being a charlatan read I, okay, okay, you're right, you're right. I'm sorry, let me read. Founded in the right to life, law enforcement rules based on international human rights law permits potentially lethal force by law enforcement agencies or security forces only in self-defense or for the defense of others when there is an imminent threat to life. That means that it was analyzed as a policing event, and the reason why they said all of the particular shootings were unjustified is because the police officers themselves weren't being threatened. But that's not analyzing it like an armed conflict no, when you've got a group of people trying to break through the border. Can somebody, can somebody give me the link to the part we're looking at? Um, yeah, sure. Thank you. Jesse, you didn't read the report. You don't read. You embarrass yourself publicly. It's kind of sad. Can you respond to what I just read? My response is that their view, their assessment, is that this was not an armed conflict. However, they applied the armed laws of armed conflict, assuming that this would be contested by Israel. Okay, other can bodies. you read for me the report where they say that? They apply, Destiny, they do a distinction. I'm waiting for a they quote. Say, I'm waiting for a quote where oh you can read me that. Oh my God, you're such a fucking fraud. I don't have a quote. So to be clear, you called me a fraud. You claimed I read Wikipedia oh, and you claim that I don't read. read. And I gave you two statements out of the UN's advanced copy for the report of this that clearly disagreed with your position. Okay. $10,000 bet that they apply. I'm not, I'm not posturing. I'm simply asking you to source me from within the document. Are you okay? They apply $10,000 bet. That they applied the law of armed conflict as an analysis here. Can you just source me? Can you just source me from within any either of these documents, either the full 250 page report or the 22 page advanced copy? I lent you both of those letterbox. The law of armed conflict? No, that they didn't analyze this as a policing event. Okay, they, no, they, they analyze this both. Do you deny that? Do you deny they analyze it as both? I don't understand what you mean when you say they analyzed it as both. They applied the law, they, they, they applied the law of armed conflict and say, said, assuming this is, even though they don't think it is, assuming this was a, a war, how would there be war crimes here? Did they do that or no? Uh, Did they talk about war crimes? I, I think you can commit war crimes as a police, as oh a policing God. body. Can you just please, can it's you just so quote me? Wait, wait, wait. Why do you fraud. keep, why are you using so many exasperated expressions? Because you are a fraud. It's kind of, I am exasperated. I just right? read you two quotes. You I read you two quotes from this document. Can you just give me a single quote from the document? Can you just read from it? They apply international humanitarian law. Yes, that's part they of what you would do with a policing event. Yes. No, it is not. International humanitarian law is the law of, part of the law of armed conflict, dopey. Like, you're just wrong and you don't care because you're a sociopath. Like, you want me to find some quote that's paraphrasing exactly what I said? No, they clearly did this. It's common sense. If, if they clearly applying... did it, then you should just show me very okay. easily where in the document where they do that. $10,000 bet that they did. No, this. I'm not going to posture with money. Just show me in the document where they do this. Sorry, wait, wait, before, I, before I bring in Avi, are you okay with Avi coming in history? He says he can clear no, it up. Wait, wait. So, what's the reason? So, so there are ways that you could kill people in an armed conflict that would be illegal for a policing event, correct? Okay, guys. Wait, wait, wait. If you can't answer that question, I, this honest, is a very easy question. Honest, can you be honest for five seconds and just listen? You no, you're not quote. answering the question. Okay, I'm going to make one point first. Do you understand? So first of all, just a general point. Do you understand that find a quote where this exact thing is stated? You can read a document without remembering, oh, page 284 of this. So that's the first thing. No, 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 wait. Okay, let me respond to that first point. No, no, no. Oh, my God. It's a stupid, disingenuous tactic. No, I'm going to now read this. 
ISF conduct, this is a direct quote from page one, the summary. So even Destiny presumably has read this. Also violate international humanitarian law, which permits civilians to be targeted only when they directly participate in hostilities. They're talking about principle of distinction. This purposely high threshold was not met by the demonstrator's conduct in the view of the commission with one possible exception on 14 May. So this one person who directly participated in hostilities according to the view of the commission. And they applied uh, the laws of armed conflict. So you're just completely wrong in, in trying to find some weird parse debate bro thing where you're right, but you're clearly wrong. I mean, it's, it's you guys are just, have lost like empathy or human like connection. It's just weird. This internet stuff isn't good for you, even though we've made a lot of money on it, Destiny. You're throwing a lot of ad homes for someone who doesn't like uh, debate bros. So, I, I, the, highly, so the highly contentious <laughs> issue relating to the Great March of Return has to do with how, which people were considered participating in hostilities. So I believe from the Israeli side, and I've seen legal scholars argue, that because the Great March of Return as a whole, the goal of the event was like militaristic in nature, and the events themselves contained um, elements of Hamas and other militaristic activities, that any civilian that was taking part in these demonstrations, especially approaching or attacking the border, would be considered as participating, uh, being an active member in armed hostilities. Now, the um, this UN report disagrees with that, um, and that's why they say that in their report um, that human international humanitarian law was in effect and operated as lex specialis during active hostilities. So they only consider like the very particular instances of where things happen uh -huh. as part of active hostilities. And they didn't consider let's the event as a whole. Let's away from abstractions and talk about what, what your lovely idea I'm, Hold on. I'm so sorry. If you want to respond to my points, you can't just hand wave. When you say abstractions, I'm quoting and reading and speaking specifically about this event. No, I don't know why you mean. What part of what I just said? Wait, wait. What part of what I just said was an abstraction? You're talking. You're saying they participate in hostilities, blah blah. I don't know so why you're why you, why you're wait why are you using that voice to summarize. I'm just asking you. When I, why what part of what I just said was an abstraction to you? The, I'm not going to be distracted by by, by these nonsense. You, hold on. You're the one that used the term. Just, just don't say that next time. Just respond to what no. I'm saying instead of trying to summarize no, okay. it or generalize it in a, in a bad faith manner. Okay, we're gonna go through your other your other nonsense too later, but. The so, okay, so I'm going to give examples of people shot by the IDF with no prosecution, and you tell me whether you think they were cases where uh, international humanitarian. Oh, this is good. This is a really good tactic. He does this. He's yeah, going to read no, out like the name of someone and their age and that they were shot. Okay, sure. Yeah, like go for it. Yeah, okay. Sure. Go for it. Okay, go for it. Great. 24 year old footballer took out his cell phone and began recording a phone, recording a video, was 150 feet away from the fence, shot. Is this justified? Another one. What is the wait, 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 you ask, you're asking me a question. So for the first no one, weapons. wait, wait, yeah. So for the first one, uh, so first of all, having weapons doesn't isn't a necessary part of um, being a party to an armed conflict or actively participating in armed conflict. So the weapons part is not relevant. Number one. Number two, what is the range at which you're supposed to stay away from that fence before the, the signs warn you that you will be shot for 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 violating the zone? It, you're now applying Israeli occupation policy. Uh, in, in confusing that with the laws of armed conflict, which is strange, but the wait, wait, wait. So, do you think is, that? Do you think that? Um, do you think that for they can disperse them? They can disperse them, but they can't kill them. No. So, what happens yeah, if the people I mean, walk up to the wall and start like cutting through? You're not allowed to ever shoot or kill those people ever. No, cutting through, you cannot kill them over that. No. Really? It's so really if people not. were approaching um, any border to a country and the border says, do not cross here, here's the border, and a bunch of people ran through and they started to try to like break through the border, you're telling me the military no, of that country wouldn't have the right to no. shoot those people? If they're unarmed and they're not attacking you, if they're throwing a grenade at you, if they're throwing a Molotov cocktail at you, yeah. That's just how the law of armed conflict works. So really? Can you, you where, where do you, where, okay, 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 yeah, you said I need to read more. Can you show me where? Yeah. Which international rule would you be referring to here for customary, or like what particular convention would you be referring I'm, to? I'm talking about the, the principle of distinction. You have to, you have to. What do you think the, the, what do you think the principle of distinction means? The principle of distinction refers to distinguishing between civilians and military forces. That's what that refers to. When you say military forces, what you're talking about are people that are, that you're talking about military forces that are parties to an armed conflict. Do you know that civilians can lose their civilian status by becoming parties to armed conflict? And one of the ways yes, of doing that might be attacking a border? They didn't attack a border. This guy was standing there. You just I'm said that if you ran up to a border and started cutting it yeah. with, a, with wire cutters, Correct. that you wouldn't be considered party to Correct. an armed conflict? Correct. No, that is not a party to an armed conflict. So what, what is there anything that could make you? Did you? Did, so, so you do, think, wait, they, they killed do you, do you year, think they, they killed a 14 year old girl? I don't remember if they killed. They shot a 14 year old girl who cut the border fence. You think that was justified during IHL? I just want to get this. Yes, thing. obviously and easily, of course. You're a lunatic. You're totally crazy. It, 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 this is nuts. 
So, okay, I'm going to read more cases. I want to hear you justify it. It's kind of... No, it seems like we don't even agree on the first one. So there's literally no, there's literally no point in, in going through. No, we're gonna go through it. No, 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 there's no, no there's no point. You just you just said that somebody can a bunch of people can approach a border, try to cut through, and you wouldn't consider that like a part of like a like a conflict, or you wouldn't consider a nation that having the right to defend their borders like that. Yeah. It's, it's a law enforcement issue, but even if it, if it, they're civilians, how, wait, how is it? It can't be a law enforcement people. issue. They're, they're not the law enforcement body in the Gaza Strip. Hamas is. You're a lunatic. Okay, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna wait, read wait, wait. What part of what I just said do you disagree with? You just call me a lunatic. How am I a lunatic? Hold it. Hold it. I'm going to read cases. I want you to tell no, me whether No, why do you keep, you can't just say a thing no, and skirt I'm, on. Let's get data, not talk abstractions. No, no, is, we're not talking, okay. abstra why do you keep saying abstractions? <laughs> because I want to talk about data. Here is a No, we're not talking about a, data. We're taking a law, we're taking law and we're applying it to individual cases. So a 14 year old girl can be killed for running up to the border fence and trying to cut through it. That's my understanding, yes. You're telling me no, you can't be killed for trying to yes. break through no. somebody's border? No, a 14-year-old girl trying to cut a... I mean, Why do you say 14-year-old girl? Do you think if they were 20 years old, does that change it? Could it? If a 20-year-old was trying to cut it's through 14, the border fence... No, no, it still wouldn't be justified, but that would be another consideration. It would be another consideration whether this person's a combatant or not, whether it's a 14-year-old girl, yeah. Wait, why? wait, 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 why? 14-year-old can't be a party to combat? 14-year-old girl, it, it's extremely unlikely. Well, oh, no, 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 wait. That's not what you just said. You just said they... You said, so they can't be or they're unlikely to be or well, what? It, it, do, do you, do you think like that a, do you think that 18 and older is the only party to a conflict? You can't be a, a soldier at 13, 14, 15? I'm changing the subject in these weird ways. I'm not changing the subject. I'm asking you a specific question. You just said 14-year-old girl, like a girl or a 14-year-old can't be party to an armed conflict. Charlatan, low info, low empathy charlatan. Let's move on. Another case. Yusuf, 19-year-old journalist. Wearing no, I'm not vest. moving on. We haven't agreed on the first one. You're bringing up irrelevancies. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm taking off. Uh, Loner, I don't no, think no, this no. guy has an education, by the way. I'm pretty sure he's like literally just frauds on it, but because this is a pretty funny dude. Um, but he's quite knowledgeable. He just doesn't have any like critical thinking skills. But, quite knowledgeable uh, on, on what? On what part? Okay, Destiny. I don't know. He's, he's memorized a few things. He's memorized a couple things, but.